Hey everyone, and welcome back to Link Rifles. Oh, alright guys, so in a few hours we have the Kaname, Zomari, and Aro Nero gotcha, and I'm pretty hyped about it. Hope you guys are excited too. Uh, those characters look great. I mean, I know they're not very popular, but uh, you know, they are to me, so I'm gonna definitely try to get one, at least one. I really want Kaname. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind Zomari. I really wouldn't like Aro Nero, but uh, that's the, really not the topic of this video. In this video, I'm going to try to convince you guys that Parasol Jushiro is one character you should definitely bring to 200. And there's a variety of reasons for this. Um, he's not a very damaging character, uh, so if you're looking for a beast like, um, you know, the Kenpachis or Noitsura or Uryu or Fulbur Ichigo, Parasol Jushiro is not that. What he does bring to the table is a boatload of utility, guys. Um, there you can see his stats at 200. He was my third character to go to 200. And right now I have him set up for an SP build and recharge. So you can see my accessories there. It's not the most SP. Uh, I have 60% increased spiritual pressure. And I have the hybrid uh, Renji, hybrid Byakuya, and 14% Rukia. So it's primarily a recharge build. So here you can see the effects. Not a lot of increases to the normal attacks or strong attacks. I do have 34% cooldown. Um, and he does have a built-in stamina recovery link, so he's a great one-player or co-op player character to use. Uh, you can see the upgrades there, a lot of great upgrades. The ones you should note, guys, are Black Hole, which increases the damage of his Vortex, and Enhancer, which increases the duration of his boost. So, we're going to demonstrate this character in the 5-star uh, Tsukushima raid. Raid Tsukushima! Uh, this is a pretty good raid to test him on because he is a purple character. Uh, he won't have the killer advantage in this raid, so uh, keep that in mind, guys. When you uh, you know you nitpick his damage, his damage is not great, as I already mentioned. Um, so, like I said, the utility that Jushiro brings to the table is a boost, which is buffed by the enhancer ability, and he brings a vortex, which is buffed by black hole, and the vortex lasts a decent amount of time. Guys, if you can see the boost right there, it's on a 25 second cooldown with my current setup. And it lasts for about 20 seconds. Uh, that's a long time. Uh, you know, if you keep it on cooldown, if you press it every time it's up, you should only have maybe a 5, five or 6 second downtime on the boost. So, if you're using this character for co-op, uh, it's a great help. You know, you'll, you'll uh, help out your damaging characters. And the boost applies 33% increased attack, defense, and focus. Um, and you can see right there, it does a little bit of damage to boot. Uh, the first strong attack, really quick cooldown, and it hits like a truck, guys. It's got kind of a narrow spread, so you do have to aim it. But if you can combine this with the Vortex, uh, you'll pretty much one-shot a pack of mobs. And with the cooldown, it comes up quite often. Now, another thing to note about this character is that you see the first strong attack, it's a blue button. That means it counts as a ranged attack. Uh, the Vortex is a red button, so it counts as a as a melee attack, and we'll get into why that's important later. But even if he's not your main character you're using in a particular raid, one player raid, now bring him in the team, because he'll buff your other characters, you know? You press the buff on Jushiro, switch back to Fulbert Vyaki, like I've done here, and he gets the buff for 20 seconds. Um, very useful in nightmare modes and boss versions. Uh, also the Vortex could be very useful, even if, he, even if he's not your main character. You know, if you're in a boss fight and he's about to use a special, switch to Jushiro, throw the Vortex out there, and it should buy you some time to do more damage or just move away. So, uh, like I said, this character, he does it all, guys. And uh, his special, it heals your team. So, um, there's, not, there's pretty much nothing he can't do. Uh, he doesn't have a... the only thing he's missing maybe is a boss killer special, but, uh, you know, I'll take the heal. The heal is very good. Uh, you know, if you're bringing uh, powerful friends, they don't really need a special da special damage from you. Uh, there's so many other characters that already have, you know, freeze, weakening, fire, whatever, poison. That, uh, you know, the heal is something that you can bring the, to the table. So, as you can see, we're doing pretty well here. That first strong attack, guys, I cannot emphasize how hard that hits. Uh, it does kind of knock the mobs really far away. Uh, but that's uh, sometimes you want that because uh, you, you know if you're stuck in the middle of like a bunch of shit, uh, it, it'll buy you some time to reposition your character and get to a better uh, better spot to fight. Um, so here we go. We're just playing along here. Uh, notice the cooldowns. 
very good. I mean, you could even go full cooldowns, so like if you have 14% uh, recharge links, and that will be even better, guys. But don't depend on Jushiro for pure damage, because he's not that type of character. Like I said, he's a utility character. The boost, see the boost? It does about, I don't know, 6k it looks like there? Not bad for a recharge build. And there's the Vortex. Look how long it lasts, guys. It lasts forever. And then you just, you know, if anybody's still alive, just fire out a wave attack for a strong attack. And uh, that should take care of any enemies that are bothering you. All right, so here we are in the raid, the boss room for Raid Tsukishima. Now, the, pro the problem with this uh, boss is that he's immune to all melee-based attacks. And, uh, you know, I, when I was first doing this raid, I remember I forgot to bring a ranged character, so I couldn't kill him. But with Jushiro, Jushiro is a melee character, right? But as we mentioned earlier, he does have a strong attack, which counts as a ranged attack. So, you know, he can still kill this boss. Like, right there, you see me trying to hit him, I can't do any damage. Uh, none, of my, none, none of my melee attacks will work. Even the Vortex does no damage. But, like we said, you know, he does have the ranged strong attack. And he does have the heal, so I was hurt a little bit there. Just throw that out, and it's a great... <laughs> if you're into this, it's great for trolling, because this is a long-ass special, and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like... Really... It's really weird, you know? It doesn't seem like it would be, like, an attack special or anything like that. And it's not, but... Here you can see, just keep throwing out the uh, first strong attack, uh, and you'll win. I mean, look, I think it only took me like six, maybe six strong attacks to kill this boss. Here we go, Raid Tsukushima. Throw the Vortex out there. It doesn't affect him because he has super armor. But uh, I think two more Vortexes, and he, sh he uh, two more first strong attacks, and he should be dead. There we go, he's almost dead now. And the cooldown's almost up. Cooldown's really quick, so boom, there we go. Uh, Raid Tsukushima Raid completed without a ranged character uh, because we have this awesome character, Parasol Jushiro, who has amazing utility and... Guys, I cannot stress uh, enough how important utility is when you do co-op or even when you do single player. Uh, overall, a great character, great pick for a 200. Uh, not a lot of people have done it, so uh, if you want to be special, throw out this character too. And I trust that he will be a pretty decent choice for the nightmare mode when purple characters are uh purple purple extreme co-op is available all right so that's a quick look at parasol jushiro guys hope you enjoyed i uh, hope it gave you something to think about let me know what you think in the comments and uh, i will see you in the next video hello kaname